so this is a video where we will see how you can configure and use MSP OSD in Ruby so what we have here is just a simple receiver a ground station for Ruby Ruby and here we have a rank Rankam air unit and a small flight controller so right now you already have MSP OSD running so we will see how you can configure it there are basically two simple steps one on the flight controller whether it's running beta flight INEV or Ardu pilot you need to enable MSP and then on the Ruby controller you also enable MSP telemetry so let's proceed with the first step so on this flight controller I'm using beta flight so we will just connect to beta flight and the only things you need to do is go into the ports tab and here on the UART that you wish to use for MSP you just enable VTX MSP you need at least beta flight version 4.5 if I've not if I'm not mistaken so in ports you just enable VTX MSP you save and reboot and afterwards on the OSD page what you have to do is basically change the video format to HD and that's all and then you can configure your OSD as usual and you just save and that's all so that's everything you need to do on the flight controller now let's see on the ruby side of things so we have our ruby controller i just connected an external hdmi display to have a, a better picture of what we need to do so as soon as we are paired with a vehicle with that particular vehicle we just go to the telemetry settings by default it comes with muffling but we just change it to MSP OSD of course we just make sure that whatever serial port we connected on the RunCam Air unit we use that one so in our case it's serial 2 and we set it in beta flight to 100,000 baud rate and that's pretty much all allow spectators will allow any spectator to either see or don't or don't see the MSP OSD so basically that's all you have to do and you get the MSP OSD there are some additional options in Rabi in the OSD uh, options that basically are not part of MSP protocol but makes life easier so if you go to OSD size colors and fonts one thing you you can tweak let's say you are flying with Google goggles and uh, the screen is too big you can just reduce the side of, of size of the OSD so as you can see the OSD it's smaller including MSP OSD so that you can have everything in focus if needed let me switch back and another option not everybody likes white color so you can actually change the color of the MSP OSD also so let's make it I don't know let's make it red doesn't really matter let's make it orange so basically now you have an orange MSP OSD of course the usual Ruby OSD elements are still available but you can of course turn them on and off basically probably you still want to see the radio links the video bitrate and everything and of course 
if you want to go fancy you can use a different screen for the MSP OSD and a different one for full OSD and so on and just switch between them with a quick action button so on the controller settings we go to buttons and we can choose in my case I have the second quick action button set to switch OSD layouts that's pretty much it thank you